Welcome to the vlog. Well, I've been thinking about a few things over the last couple of weeks. Um, with Deb's fishing, I've been looking at my own tackle and I've been thinking of changing a few bits and pieces and I've been going through some of my old tackle. You know, I wanted a Pioneer and I decided that I don't really need one just yet. You know, I dug out my old Aqua Dome, you know, and took a look at that. Once you get the gear inside it, it's, it's just big enough, it's fine, it's okay. There you go, plenty of room. Got my gubbins in there. Can't beat that. What I loved about these is you have little peepholes so you can actually spy on people coming to see you. Each side you can look down the bank and see if anybody's coming your way. Right? Which meant if any bailiffs are coming you can quickly have a look and hide any contraband. <laughs> and that's exactly where it is. It was an, an ideal dome, small and compact. You can't stand up on them, but when you're doing a quick overnighter, these domes were, were perfect. Now, bear in mind, a lot of the carp anglers then, they didn't do long sessions. It's overnighters, you know, 24 hours maximum, never 72, never long sessions. And what they needed was something which was really quick and light to assemble, just like that there. I'm going to use that a lot more on the overnighters this year. The old Aqua Dome. Love it. Single skin. Did it used to have a cotton inline on it as well, but that's now long since gone. But still, that has outlasted four modern day Aqua Domes already. The two man Aqua Dome I've got, the seams have gone on it within three years. Two and a half years. Well, that is still on. T still in tip top shape now it didn't stay too long on that lake because have you heard that traffic there's not a cat in else chance i could have done got anything well relaxed at all so i decided that i was going to visit a lake which is a lot more quieter and i was going to try one of the new toys now several years ago um, I fished on a lake which is over towards Macclesfield, well it's a reservoir actually and I took the time to try and work out with a marker rod um, exactly what the bottom was like but I thought I'd take the opportunity to knit back again and just try the, uh, the deeper on the lake you know the deeper pro plus that I bought well I really, 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 really enjoyed just taking the time while well, Deb set her rods up and oh, she's starting to enjoy fishing now as well, to be perfectly honest. She's heavily into stringers at the moment. Loves them. Every two minutes, wanging out, new word, wanging out with the, um, the stringers as far as you can put them. But if you don't mind, it's a, it's a really, really good method and not a lot of people use it these days and it's very effective. But I just really wanted to just find out what the contours of the lake was actually going to be like. So I left her to it and I did a bit of uh, wanging myself with the uh, Deeper Pro. Do you know, it's a good bit of kit. You know, all you do is reel it back and map on GPS all of the lake. You know, just finding spots, seeing where it is, seeing where you are, where you are in relation to the lake. And I found a little plateau which you can just see there. There's a few plateaus, and you can see some gullies and areas. And it tells you the depths as well. Ah, oh, that was just absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of things on the bottom of the lake that I never seen before by a marker. And what I did in 20 minutes of um, using the deeper would have took me all day to do with the uh, with the marker set up so it's a no-brainer really it's a no-brainer now I did see some fish and I thought hey presto you know but like I say you don't know whether it's carp or not and we just took some time then to watch some YouTube videos after putting the rods out bit of Carl and Alex there on the go and then a bit of social media and it the weather was up and down and Jason Callahan. Uh, I put a video up on Facebook exactly the same time when the Evans opened with us as well. 
You can't write that, can you? There we go, Jason. Snap. Right, in the last video, I was talking about hooks and completely out of the blue, I got a message. Hi mate, I've got some hooks. I've not used them in ages. Um, I've got a few boxes of them. Would you like them? Bit skeptical, I went, okay, yeah, yeah, cool, no problem. He says, um, give me details, I'll send it over to you. These arrived this morning coming to fishing so I'm gonna have a look and see what he sent me open this up look at that well what's arrived razor ace razor hooks brilliant one packet, a new packet, still on its sleeve, another packet, another packet still on its sleeve, and another packet. It's gone from Essex. David Powell, I commend you, sir. I commend you. Thanks for that, it's brilliant. David has sent me, David Powell has sent me one, two, three, four, five packs of the Ace Hooks. They'll last me this season, to be perfectly honest. Dave, I can't thank you enough, that's absolutely fantastic. David Powell, what a top man, absolute top man. Cheers mate, I think they're all new as well, all brand new, five packs of oaks, get in, cheers chap, like and subscribe mate, don't forget, hit that bell icon, right hand side, if you've got a smartphone device, I'll carry on with the vlog, and that's a little bit of an un unboxing, and I've just had a fish crash somewhere, let's carry on with the vlog. Well, we're all settled in for the night. I've had a few bream. The baits are working well. I've changed the baits a little bit. I've took out Robin Red out of the out of the baits, to be honest, and made them a little bit lighter. Also, the lights, light, the baits now lighten up in the water, um, really nicely, so they become more visual. So they're dark when they dry, and they become a lot lighter when they get wet. I'm really happy with that. We're also watching a bit of YouTube while we're fishing. Are you watching it, Debs? Yeah. <laughs> so we're actually enjoying a bit of fishing we're watching Carl and Alex on YouTube I do like watching them to be fair and the, the video editing is really good that they do hopefully we'll pick a fish up tonight and if we don't it's just fishing it's the way it goes um, we may fish some rivers ourselves uh, Deb's barra has transformed our fishing to be fair we can split the kit up a lot more and we can go and fish lakes that we couldn't really get to before because logistically getting two lots of gear to the pegs on one barrel was a nightmare well now we can do more than that we can actually go and fish some other lakes beautiful countryside nice food and spend some real quality time together while we're fishing that's what it's all about uh, you're not saying anything about that are you happy with that yeah yeah so I'm am i well, it's just watching Kelly and alex catching the carp on uh, on the river so we might even give that a go yeah, we can go to the River Ribble because that's near work. Yeah, we might even go to River Ribble in Preston. Might even do that, so. Okay, if I don't speak to you before, I'll see you in the morning. So what are you doing now? Putting a stringer on? Putting a stringer on. I'm going to put a stringer on both of them. Oh yeah? What, mang them out? Yep. Oh. One right in front of me. Are you on Broca? Yeah. No. I yeah, Broca. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you catch something out there, maybe a bream? No, I don't want one of them. That's all I bad. Snotty things. I oh, know. Right, 
but it's mid morning. Plenty of bream, a lot of bream, but no carp. Um, I've been trying out some uh, hard hookers there. They work to treat. Oh, and they also turn white when they've been in the water as well, a lot lighter from the dark fish meal type of colour to a whiter colour. Um, so the bottom baits, they do the same kind of thing as well, which is good. But on the deeper, there was a lot, a lot of fish showing, but clearly it was bream. And that's the only problem with the deeper is, is that it doesn't identify what kind of species of fish it is, but it identifies that there's fish there. So, I also found a little plateau only come up, comes up by about a foot and it's about the size of a, a car roof but that's uh, really hard so I also put my rigs then on a, a hair rig just on a running rig not far out you know it's only about 30 yards out and just fished on the top of that but that's what brought bream in this side here I've mapped out as much as the lake as I can without actually having to spend any time thrashing the bottom of the lake bed to a pulp um, but yeah I mapped out part of the lake and I'm happy with that and I do fish this swim a lot when I have a chance and I've got a better understanding of it than I, I would do with the marker I can see the sediment on the bottom of the lake a lot better I can see where the fish hold up in midwater there's a lot more information off a of deeper than you get off a marker and I've seen on the forums people slagging off these kind of sonars it's just i think they just don't understand them to be perfectly honest they think they're, they're trapped in their own little bubble and anything that's different from what they're used to they'll have a go at people and i think that's what people tend to do with this kind of technology but i cannot fish without it it's just such a good tool and you get the water temperature as well so it's such a good tool to use now i put a scatter in a bait down now on top of that bar again and hopefully old carp will come along and pick up on the top of that plateau should I say not a bar it's a plateau but there is a bar further out which is about 80 yards which goes from seven foot to five and a half foot and there's a couple little channels as well which drop between five and a half foot to seven foot and then back up to five foot six going out towards there so there's some spots out there that are worth looking at but we're not seeing very many fish show. The only fish I've seen showing is down in the shallows in very weedy water just there. Right, let's just chill out. It's breakfast time now. It's spam and egg time. So uh, spam egg and uh, bacon. So let's even catch a fish. But it's starting to rain again and uh, we just can't seem to get into the car. We've even put out the deeper. We've even put out the deeper and to no avail the carp's in, or the fishing to move further away so now we're casting singles at range um, in the heavy rain trying to catch a fish. Well this is fishing, it, just because you can see moving fish doesn't mean it's fish. You know, it could be like fish that we're after, it could be bream or anything, but I've not seen a carp rise in this part of the lake. 24 hours, so I've got another two hours of trying to catch a carp. And uh, that's all we can do. Let's just try and catch a fish. Oh well. Look at the weather. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm actually following the birds now. Just outside, out there now is where the birds are, and 
and fishing to that kind of range where there are birds and where there's birds diving for fish there's got to be fish that simple so uh gotta go for the birds this is real fishing isn't it but at least got a new out look at that do you think it's a good look look that's great that's fine to me that's quite fetching doesn't it oh let's put it on straight there we go new cap new hat but if you set it just right you can look a little bit like an albanian so that's good happy with that well no birds no fish but i can smell a kfc on the way i think i'm gonna go and get a kfc Oh dearie me, if I'd gone bream fishing I would have been really really happy but uh, I didn't, I come for carp, the swimmy things which are called carp, carpicus, carpicus, whatever it is, cypromus carpinus or whatever it is, that kind of thing, them uh, swimmy things, nada, no carps, been testing, all the same, and all we've been doing is just trolling the internet again, looking at fishing tackle, and that's kind of what you do when you're doing these little trips and you go fishing is just go let's have a look at the internet and see what we can buy while well, we sat looking at our mantelpiece thinking oh what potted plant are we going to put on there today what else can we make them look really nice to look at all day long not a lot really right i'll see you on the next vlog and uh, this has been an absolute disaster <laughs>